There are a lot of approaches to playing over a minor blues. In this lesson, we'll go over several different pentatonic scales that you can use in a minor blues. A minor, I probably don't need to explain that an A minor pentatonic scale will work throughout the entire progression. But why does A minor pentatonic work on the other chords? <laughs> A minor pentatonic works on the D minor 7 chord because all of the notes in the scale still work over the chord. No bad notes. And it contains, well, a moody note that adds a nice color, the ninth. So now we know that a minor pentatonic off the fifth works on a minor chord as well. Noted. So let's use a minor pentatonic off the fifth for a minor seven chord as well. Do you know what scale that would be? A few moments later. If you guessed E, you are correct. <laughs> Is the moody note this time. Can we use E minor pentatonic on the D minor 7? Let's see. Survey says? According to analysis, it should be fine. So now we know we can play a minor pentatonic scale off the ninth of a minor 7 chord or up a whole step from the chord's root. We should be able to play a D minor pentatonic on the D minor 7. That's kind of a given. So that's three different scales for three different sounds. Just bear with me for a sec. It's important for me to see you get better at playing jazz. Consider joining the ever-growing list of Jazz Rocks with Adam Insiders on Patreon where you can get access to tons of lessons, join me in a monthly hang where we go over playing topics, and you can ask me questions. Gold Devil supporters learn a new jazz song each month. And I just added something new, a monthly challenge currently open to all insiders. Get feedback from me, and by participating, you get a chance to win a free lesson with me every month. Sound good? Like I said, I really want to see you improve. So head on over to Patreon and choose the level that works for you. Thanks. Now back to the lesson. So now, what about A minor pentatonic on the F major 7 chord? minor pentatonic work on F major 7 as well? It should. Yep. So that means we have two choices for each chord so far and three choices for the D minor 7. Now we come to E7. The five chord in a minor blues is the same as the five chord in the major blues. So we can trust that A minor pentatonic should work already. And I'm sure we can agree that E minor pentatonic should work on E7 as well. So you can use an E minor pentatonic throughout the whole chord progression and you'll be smarter than the average bear. But let's look at things another way. I'm going to show you how easy it can be to slip in and out of different pentatonic scales. Write out an A minor pentatonic and an E minor pentatonic from the same note, and you'll learn that there's only one note different, a B and a C. 
turn all the C's into B's, and voila, new scale. So instead of the C, we'll play B. Instead of, instead of this C, B. Instead of this C, B. It'll sound like this. Very easy to grab still. So I went up A minor pentatonic and down E minor pentatonic. By changing one note, we can easily slip in and out of E minor pentatonic and A minor pentatonic. Let's do more comparisons. Here's an A minor and a D minor pentatonic from a common note. Again, just one note different. Doesn't this make things so much easier to change scales when you're armed with this info? So start weaving in and out of different scales when you're soloing. I have backing tracks available over at Patreon for this song. Is there a third scale that we can use on the E7 chord? Why, yes, I'm glad that you asked. If you play a minor pentatonic up a minor third, that's three frets, you get a great sound. Let's see what you get. All the spicy notes, man. You jink. In the PDF, I'll have a written out solo that uses much of the ideas that we covered here. Check out these videos where I dive in deeper on pentatonic scales over here.